so thank you very much uh, i would like to thank you all for uh, sparing your time for this presentation okay uh, uh, now before we jump on uh, to the topic uh, you know i would like to take you through the background so like this evolution where it started what we do now where we are today and what is the future how this evolution you know is going to happen and how you know it has already started so basically see these are the key points of today's pre uh, presentation okay evolution of uh, racks in data center integration of technology in racks need of smart racks in modern day cent uh, modern day data centers and salient features of smart rack global data center market transformation driving factors and future of smart rack so we'll go about uh, these all these topics one by one but let's see what uh, you know what we have uh, what we have already you know started with how we started where we are and where uh, we are going so basically what you see on your screen is all type of racks you know right from a basic rack you know up to the smart rack so at the extreme left of your screen what you see is all wall mounts indoor outdoor single section double sections okay then what you see is four post closed racks two post open racks regular server racks and then smart racks so this is how we are you know uh, the transformation is happening you know uh, of course the basics uh, uh, the wall mounts and four post uh, closed racks are basics and till date we are actually doing this only we are uh, you know uh, we cannot uh, avoid using this you know though we have smart rack in place but then these are the need and it will always remain there so we'll we'll go through the presentation now see so basically when it comes to uh, your racks you know now today we have reached a point where we need to decide that what do we need like you know what is our demand or rather what is the customers end users demand today so the demand is you know you have to just decide whether we need to stick to what we have been doing all this while or else we want to go for smart rack and then we need to see what what are the driving factors you know to move from the basics to the smart rack so let's see what are the di driving factors see with shifting trends towards dig digitalization of all processes rise in opportunities would come from the initiatives like you know the government of india has uh, actually initiated a lot of uh, uh, initiatives you know as you see in the picture see the digital india movement make in india movement then smart cities then you all know how the growth uh, has uh, penetrated in the internet like you know today everybody in in a, you know uh, india as a country you know kind of population we have everybody has got a smartphone almost everybody and everybody is using it so look see understand the penetration kind of penetration has happened so of course you know it has all linked to the data centers in the back end then e commerce retail the e com e commerce you know i am i am sure you all know how it failed in the uh, first phase miserably i am talking about maybe you know 12 15 years back but then today you know what we are seeing everything everybody 50 rupee 100 rupee transaction you know we are uh, uh, ordering things online and it is getting delivered so e-commerce is also uh, you know evolved then it it is bfsi are the segments that have been there but of course it has come like you know this is the 2.0 of these uh, things uh, today so you know right from that as we saw in the first slide you know basics to smart track okay now what is smart track smart track is an intelligent single rack solution it can have multiple authentication options okay door access and manual override now see uh, it is a combination one is the security 
okay second is the uh, access second is the access door access okay and then cooling cooling is the major factor because rest of the things come into play you know because of cooling only like you know for example you have an air conditioning unit inside your rack now having it is not enough you want to know what is happening inside like you know uh, in a data center generally we create the entire uh, uh, cooling system in the room server room where you have our data uh, you know our racks or servers inside so generally predominantly we have been creating the infrastructure uh, for uh, the cooling inside the room room temperature we have been maintaining all this file okay just for the rack so smart rack is nothing but you know having all these things inside a rack rather than creating an infrastructure in a complete room where the smart rack is kept or where a regular rack server rack is kept you know it is all about bringing everything inside the rack so you have a lesser area to cover you know in terms of cooling okay and everything that is uh, around that would help this product okay the servers with regards to their heat dissipation and maintaining a temperature inside of course compared to a, a complete room you know when you have a smaller what what uh, rack are we talking about you know we'll talk about you know we are generally we are talking about a rack uh, uh, of say 42u 800 by 1000 or 600 by 1000 okay so uh, so 600 by 1000 or 1200 or 1400 maximum so that area to be covered is not a you know it's not a big deal compared to covering an entire room so this is where it all starts so basic is your air conditioning unit then when you have an ac inside you want to make sure that it is running so how do you ensure that it is running one is somebody has to be there all the while to see that it is there it is working there is no problem as such okay or else you can use technology so how you use technology is when you have an air conditioning unit see what you see on your screen at the you know this one the bottom of your screen is the air conditioning unit of course this looks bigger is this is actual dealing by the way dealing uh, so, uh, smart track picture so this was a bigger unit 10u air conditioning unit now we have 4u like you know this much only 4u 4u uh, and 6u units we have depending on the size of uh, uh, the air conditioning uh, uh, the capacity of the air conditioning unit so 4u and 6u we have so like you know uh, i can say if this is 10u then you can actually have two acs in the same space so rest of the place is with your servers okay your storage then you also have this uh, uh, you know this is the uh, one u controller unit why this controller we'll discuss about it in detail let's talk of smaller things now this is this is a camera the camera is to capture an image of a person who has opened the rack now of course this is optional this is not required in all smart racks but then uh, when we made this uh, smart track uh, we installed this camera here so uh, many a times when there is an event you want to know who opened the rack you know if for example in a day if the door was opened 10 times you want to know who opened at what time and in case there was an event something went wrong you want to know who opened this rack at that point of time so there are two ways about it one is uh, there is somebody sitting uh, at the location in front of the rack okay and then other thing is you get all these responses uh, remotely so we'll discuss this how we'll get uh, those responses uh, uh, you know uh, remotely uh, so see what you have there are three major components of uh, smart rack one is the air conditioning unit for the cooling okay second see server is of course it is all this is for the servers so for servers what you have is the air conditioning unit second is your ups and third is your fire separation these three components are most important and they also you know uh, they are the major cost of a smart rack like see for example 142 u uh, uh, 42 u rack may cost 50 60 70 000 
but a smart track can co cost anywhere between 10 lakhs to 30 35 40 lakhs depending on what how many things you need inside this what features you are looking for yet if you look at the overall running cost okay including uh, the uh, maintenance of uh, 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 comparison between a rack and a complete room that you, uh, you know create for your servers server racks then it is cost effective okay just i would like to give uh, example of see just imagine how uh, the you know how it would have been when the uh, your uh, refrigerators were initially uh, launched it was like you know uh, it could be very very expensive okay but then see now today where only only limited people could own it okay now but today everybody every house irrespective of you know how how big or how you know how much is your uh, capacity to spend you have uh, these uh, refrigerators in every home so similarly you may have in future you may have this uh, smart racks in every home every sorry every data center so of course today the cost is very high okay no, it may come down in future so as i said first thing is your cooling unit okay so once the cooling is taken care of you want to know whether everything is all right so what you see on the door see this is the inside view of the door so this is actually an lcd so from outside you can see what is the temperature inside and what is the humidity inside so locally you know what is happening now second is if you are not there if you are not available there then you want to know what is going what is happening like you know uh, an it manager he wants to know what is happening with his rack at a remote location he may have his person sitting there a technician or an engineer but then he wants to make sure nothing is wrong so then remote triggering anything goes back for example in, in an air conditioning unit you can set a threshold like say 20 to 22 degrees you have set a threshold that means the temperature should never go above 22 or it should never go down below 20 so the moment you set this threshold then the moment temperature goes beyond 22 locally the text on your screen from white the text will convert into red so that it draws your attention it draws attention of the person sitting there okay and remotely it will trigger an sms or email alert so that an it manager gets to know that there is something wrong he can make uh, his person uh, you know go visit there and see what is the problem and possibly resolve it so with temperature and humidity sensors you know what is happening inside then ups you know i need not explain why you need ups okay so backup depending on your requirement you will have backup so that you know uh, whenever there is uh, a power failure or something wrong with the power uh, you are you have uh, that uh, backup okay and third is the access now access is very important uh, when you have uh, you know when you have uh, your own person sitting there then also you don't want him to open every time you know at his will whenever he wishes to open he should not be opening it okay one so you know sorry let me go back actually one is you don't want any author unauthorized person to open this rack first thing now once that thing is taken care of no authorized uh, unauthorized person can open this door then the second thing is your own person he should not be able to open it at his will so optionally we can give you an otp based solution so every time the rack has to be opened your engineer or your uh, uh, administrator sitting there has to take an otp from the it manager so this is not the basic feature that's that's why you know when i say you know it starts from 7 10 lakhs smart rack it goes up to 35 40 50 uh, lakhs then it all depends on what kind of features you want in it okay so once uh, in the otp based solution your the authorized person also will have to think twice before opening the door like for example if i have three tasks to be done inside the uh, the rack if i don't have to take any otp from somebody 
i may you know go and do something casually uh, close the door then i after some time i realize that i have done only one thing out of three then i may go again okay then third time but if i have to take an otp from somebody who is you know uh, uh, in the hierarchy who is on uh, above me then i'll be very careful whenever i take otp i'll make sure that you know i have uh, i'm doing what i'm supposed to do okay everything is done at once and then it will also bring uh, you know a lot of uh, responsibility to that person so you know similarly there are so many other things like you know wld water leak detector uh, you know uh, we can also have uh, uh, your smoke detector inside okay see basically this is how like you know you must have seen uh, down that we have covered uh, cooling i would like to talk about the security now see on your left of your screen what you see is uh, 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 customer racks maybe you know it is more uh, uh, third party data center kind of a situation you see a lot of cages around your uh, racks so that you know nobody enters nobody is able to uh, open that door now need of this cage can be eliminated with biometric locks what you see at the right of right side of your screen is the uh, biometric locks on the server racks okay now here you need not you need not have all these enclosures cages around your uh, racks okay of course you know uh, depending on the situation you know uh, there is also you, know, you can have uh, uh, a lot of space open space available if cages are not there aesthetically also the cages look bad i mean i don't know maybe in this picture it doesn't look as bad as it actually looks bad when you go into a third party data center you know you see all server racks but in one corner you see some cages okay so now with the help of this biometric solutions okay you can have your rack secured okay here also see you can have single dual you no know, multiple authentications can be given how you know, uh, like one is the, it could be a card based solution may fair card then second is your biometric third is uh, you know uh, pin pad you know three digit four digit pin pad uh, you could have and fourth as i mentioned optional you can also have otp based solution so the security part is also taken care of then as i mentioned you know you can have a lot of lot more other features now see this is what we were talking about access control of data center racks uh, now see on the upper left side of your screen what you see is the uh, access card okay uh, then you know maybe biometric your finger biometric then the uh, third picture is the manual override what if system fails in case of system failure you should be able to open it with a key lock in key so you can have a lock in key you know, swing handle lock in key then you know card plus pin access control with manual override see now manual override is mandatory you know it is a must you know of course uh, you know there could be an application somebody may uh, opt for something like you know it's not required at all but practically if you see it is a must in case of a system failure so card plus pin uh, access control with manual override manual override means opening the same door with the key then card plus pin access control okay uh, it's a, you know uh, it has uh, what you see at the you know uh, second from the right is a lcd screen wherein you know you can have uh, 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 controls putting your uh, 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 you know uh, pin four digit pin and rest of the things adding uh, uh, the uh, uh, authorized people multiple people all those kind of thing then card plus pin plus biometric access control with manual override okay so these are the options that you know that can help you so all in all smart track is a solution that would eliminate need of having entire room okay that needs uh, uh, to be maintained for for your racks now this is single rack same thing can be done in the multiple uh, row of racks okay so what you know, then also like you know uh, uh, 
this is what you see in the picture is a single rack solution now in case you have a bigger setup you have more multiple uh, uh, racks then same thing can be uh, done into multiple uh, racks depending on your requirement depending on the number of servers you have in each rack and depending on the heat uh, dissipated uh, by these servers so Dealing smart rack system is an intelligent single rack solution designed for data centers at remote locations and any type of IT applications where remote monitoring of the basic environmental conditions inside the server rack is essential. While this elegant sensor based smart rack system has an environmental monitoring system equipped with remote triggering and log management features. Now log management, so yeah, this part I think we have not covered this. Now see, the moment uh, the triggering has happened, you know, you take care of the problem. Then you would want, also want to know, you know, you want to have uh, uh, logs, records of what happened. You know, you may not uh, realize some event happening uh, at the same time when it happened. Okay, you realize it late, you want to know what happened. So all these features, see, we all are well aware why these log management features are required. The important thing is that in a smart track, you have this feature available. So it is also a very user friendly and cost effective alternate solution. Of course, we have already discussed this compared to a full fledged remote site where you need to maintain entire facility, including room temperatures as well as security features with an aware on site professional to update the HO knock on a regular basis. So of course, see, practically you will have, you will definitely have a person sitting there, but you will not have dependency on it. With smart track, you know, remote triggering and log management, uh, you may have person sitting there, but you don't have dependency on him. You can always have logs to see what has happened. You can always have triggers, you know, uh, something going wrong. You can call that person and ask him to take care of it. You can yourself reach there and take care of the problem. See, these are some of the features that, you know, we have already discussed, but then we will discuss it formally. Like, you know, it will have a controller one u size smart rdu controller okay that will manage rack level access control as well as environmental monitoring now environmental monitoring is uh, your ac temperature humidity sensors that is the environmental monitoring on a single platform then temperature and humidity monitoring capability with all types of stagen vegan readers rack door access with manual override option snmp alerts for critical alarms on system you can also have uh, uh, your you know uh, 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 hooter in case of something wrong there the hooter uh, would also you know uh, it would uh, 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 alarm uh, you know uh, it can raise an alarm so that you know it will draw attention of the person sitting there there could be a situation the person not available at that place he must have gone outside for some need okay sometimes you know somebody may have felt sleepy with an alarm, you can actually, you know, somebody can uh, understand that there is a problem and you can take care of it. So even based image capturing, we have already discussed. Amass reporting for various parameters and filters for analysis and action. Email and SMS configuration for critical alerts. Rack level self-cooling system. Then elegant seven inch color TFT screen for rack level environmental monitoring. Now see, uh, this is the screen where you get to see what is the temperature inside. Okay. And then, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the color of the text will change to draw your attention. The moment you, uh, the set threshold, it crosses the set threshold. Okay. It goes above or below the set threshold. Then that alarm can be raised. Then there are certain optional features, multiple authentication. You know, you could have a single uh, authentication also. You know, depending on your need and kind of security levels you want, you can have multiple authentication options. Okay, digital input zone for critical sensors like smoke detector, water leak detector, and uh, vibration sensors or fan failure alarm options. So these all things, of course, you know, it will be taken care of. Door status monitoring for security, open or closed status, OTP based options. This also we have already discussed. You know, can also be provided for customized solutions. So, you know, this is all uh, what uh, features you have, like, you know, you could have uh, some more added features, like you can have an intelligent PDU, 
in this rack what this video will do is like you know you will have uh, like just imagine situation wherein you have a third party data center where in a single rack you have multiple client uh, servers okay now not necessarily all servers are going to uh, use same power okay so now intelligent pdu would give you basically give you an idea of which server has uh, consumed how much electricity how much power is consumed by uh, that particular server you know or rather all the servers individually how much they have uh, taken care and there are of course many different uh, you know options and features available to understand that so you know uh, this is what uh, it is all about you know then you know uh, there are all uh, other features that can also be incorporated depending on you know base uh, basis need of the customer you know, the customer may have certain needs depending on that we can add or you know uh, reduce uh, the options see uh, as i mentioned earlier your budget cost is a major factor again let me tell you we have all spoken about all good things about it then there are also other things that we need to draw your attention now like you know ac ac like you know it's it's a 24 by 7 ac uh, for the smart truck requirement why because you cannot afford to have a downtime now like uh, our home uh, ac okay when there is a problem we can manage but in a data center whenever there is a problem no you you cannot afford to have a downtime so ac is very critical if you have dependency on uh, you know a single ac then you have to understand what can go wrong okay so in that case you can have more than one air conditioners so the redundancy can be take you know will take care of this problem especially in a row of racks you know when it is a multiple uh, row uh, of multiple racks then you can have uh, options wherein you know you have say for example uh, in a row of 5 plus 5 10 racks if you have six uh, acs then you know five would do the job one is going to be a spare ac depending on which a unit has a problem okay that can go from active to redundant and the redundant ac can take the role of active okay and then uh, once uh, the uh, maintenance is taken care of then you can do the changes as and when required you can also have lot of options like you know uh, maybe all these acs can have resting time so they change from uh, active to redundant one by one so that every ac you can have a plan uh, to uh, give rest to one of the units and rest of the acs would work for certain time certain days you know so all these thing can be taken up another thing is you know you have to think practical uh, like for example even though you have air conditioning units in this uh, uh, you know you have to have containment as well so what happens with in an, in case of a containment if your rack door is open see for example you have maintained a very good temperature inside the rack but moment you open the rack door the ac is going to leak out the cold air is going to leak out so it is uh, ideal to have a uh, you know the containment you know cold aisle or hot aisle containment basis your uh, uh, requirement wherein even when you keep the doors open if the area is contained then the cold air is not going to leak out okay so this is how uh, the smart track has been uh, evolving slowly and as i mentioned see you know i mean i would like to again emphasize on that uh, uh, you know the example that i have given you of uh, your uh, refrigerator see it may be a basic thing today you know we feel oh, okay ac uh, refrigerator means okay fine it's a basic thing but then it runs 24 by 7 what is what is the cost
need of uh, uh, need of uh, you know uh, the cost of uh, ac would definitely come down then of course we can have uh, all a lot of other features we can keep adding see just imagine where we were in terms of uh, technology you know 100 years back and where we are today basis that just imagine where we would be 50 years uh, from now so of course the way rest of our world is changing your data centers your racks would also change but then the basic racks would we would always need basic racks so guys this is what uh, all i have okay uh, I would also share my details. You know, uh, maybe you can take a screenshot of this, uh, and you know, uh, my contact details are there. If there is something specific you would want to uh, discuss in details, you can uh, call one to one. Okay, and uh, we can discuss it. So that's it. Thank you very much. This is what all I had.